six years ago, Beyonce released Lemonade, which was a very raw, emotional album. And, you know, it was kind of fueled by betrayal and, and processing hurt. And, you know, obviously it's been a long time since then, but this album is emotional in a totally opposite direction where it's just completely euphoric. It's, it's a joyful dance album but I, I think it's so powerful and kind of it's it's recognition of, of self self-worth self-love um and just what the dance floor can do to kind of make someone feel whole every single artist is trying to figure out okay when is it appropriate to make a post-pandemic dance album and you know i i think that for Beyonce, it, it really isn't about, you know, the timing of things opening back up or anything like that. I think it's about where she's at personally, which is a very, a very powerful place. Like, I think that she's at a place in her life and her career where she has nothing to prove. And it's it's time to celebrate, you know, the achievements of, of yesterday and the achievements of today as, as a wife, as a mother, as kind of a, a cultural icon. Beyonce is still the queen. I, you know, I've been thinking about the fact that the past decade of Beyonce's career has been so interesting where, you know, the first decade of her solo career was so hits driven and it was huge top, top 10 hits, number one hits, crazy in love, single ladies, all these kind of iconic singles. And then the last decade of her career has been pivoting to being an albums artist, being an artist that can work across multimedia with visual projects, with, you know, live albums with uh, Coachella iconic performances and stuff like that. So, you know, it's it's interesting because I think that's been a really, really smart pivot for her because it's extended her legacy in many ways.